All right, thanks a lot, Chris. Well, another fun-filled summer of Big Brother is just around the corner, and one lucky house guest will win a grand prize of a half million dollars just like this. Welcome back to Big Brother All-Stars. It has all come down to this moment. We're about to crown the winner. And this vote from Will goes to Mike. Congratulations, with Will. You are the winner of Big Brother All-Stars. That was Mike Boogie Mallon winning Big Brother All-Stars. He is here with Brian Hart, another former house guest, and Robin Cass, who helped pick both of these guys to be on the show. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Mike, I'm going to start with you because you were in two seasons, season two and season eight, All-Stars. Season eight, you won. What do you tell people about your experience being in the Big Brother house? Um, I just tell them it looks like it's a lot more fun than it really is. It's, uh... <laughs> You're not supposed to say that for this <laughs> We want people to want to go in. Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to say it's great. It's good. It's good if you <laughs> Good if you win. Um, yeah, it's just be prepared for absolute mental warfare. I think by far it's the most challenging reality show you could possibly go on. You won a half million dollars, so... Don't forget the car. Oh, and the car. Yeah. Oh, right. And the trip to Aruba. Now, Brian, you were only on... Oh, it was a short time. It was a bit of a short you time. You was robbed. I was, I was robbed, yeah. But, okay. I mean, I, it was, you know, you got in, got out. Different experience, I guess. It was last summer. Mm -hmm. You were the first person evicted from Big Brother mm -hmm. 10 in the, what was it, seven short days? Yeah. Seven days. Did it seem like longer? It seemed like a long time. I was sitting at home watching and I didn't know how the people who were in there were still in there because it's just so stressful when you're in there. Why? I mean, did you have any fun? Oh, I had a blast. I had an absolute fun. No, it was a great time. It's just, it's, it's, it is. It's a game and you're playing the whole time. Obviously, I was playing a little too much. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a good time, but it's definitely a stressful situation. Well, it's a half million dollars. We're not going to make it easy on you. <laughs> Robin, you helped pick these guys. What okay. stood, about, stood out about them? What are you looking for? as we throw 10 new strangers into the house this summer? Uh, I mean, I think every season we try to go, you know, we try to push the envelope just a little bit. And, I mean, we like big characters. I mean, look at both of these guys. You sort of smile when you talk to them. But, you know, just like Mike said, it is a really difficult show. And you have to be competitive. And we want people who are emotional. We want people who are controversial and are going to stir it up a little bit. And, I mean, two fantastic examples of um, all of those qualities, these guys right here. Like, both of you guys are in your 20s, late 20s, early 30s? Sure, we'll go with that. Yeah. Okay. Early <laughs> okay. 20s. Are clearly my shoulder. <laughs> but we should mention that it doesn't really matter what age group you're in, because we really want diverse people, don't we? Absolutely. I mean, last season was a perfect example. That Jerry, who was 75. in his 70s, yeah. I mean, final three. I mean, he built, beat up this punk right here. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, we always want diversity. People, you know, 21 and up and 60s, 70s, 80s, as long as you can handle it. We want you in the house. All right. The best tip to someone who's thinking, I'm going to apply. How, what should they do to make themselves stand out on their on their tapes? Anyone? What did you do to stand <laughs> yeah. out, Mike? Uh, I actually <laughs> rapped. I danced. I, um, I wouldn't I, suggest those I things. Would say, <laughs> <laughs> I would say just stand out and go for it. Like, whatever you're trying to accentuate about your personality and the, the traits that you think could get you selected, make sure they see it and see it quickly on the tape. I would say don't have any regrets. Don't hold back. You don't want to leave an interview saying, I should have said this. I should have said that. I mean, shock us. Don't hold back. If you're controversial, tell us those things that you believe in and, you know, we'll pick you. I would say everybody's got something unique about themselves and just, you know, find out what that is. And if you know what it is already, get it out there quick. Like you said, make sure Wave your free flag. Exactly. It sounds like. All right. <laughs> Mike, Brian, Robin, thank you so much. Thanks. And we should mention, with your half million dollars, you know, have like 15 restaurants. So <laughs> Big Brother, despite what Mike said, was very good to him in great I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. If you think you have what it takes to win Big Brother 11, now is the time to apply. Log on to cbs.com slash casting for all the details. Maggie, let's head back to New York.